Today, almost two months since the shooting, Allen police released video of the historic or heroic response from the single officer at the mall when that shooting began. What we're about to show you folks and what we're about to walk you through is intense, that's for sure. And some of you might find it disturbing. This video will be hard to watch, but it is important for you to see it. Have a look. In the video, the unidentified officer is seen having a pleasant conversation with a mother and her two kids in the parking lot at the Allen Outlets. Make sure you wear your seatbelts when mommy's driving, okay? Do you understand? Okay? Okay? All right. All right, you be good. Seconds later, wow. you hear it. 145, I think we got shots fired at the Allen Mall. Instinctively, the officer calls the shots into dispatch, grabs his tactical rifle, and single handedly begins running towards the sounds of repeated gunfire, all while warning people to get away and somehow managing to still communicate on his police radio. They're moving further away from me. Go, 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 keep moving! I'm on foot. I need everybody I got. He calls for backup, which is on its way, but he's still moving in on the shooter all by himself. I'm moving as fast as I can trying to get over there. I'm by Tommy Hilfiger. I don't know where he's at. Just as he turns the corner, the sound of the gunfire so loud, it's obvious he's caught up to the shooter. He then takes several shots at him. Shots fired by police. I got him down. And as he moves closer, finally, another fellow officer shows up and confirms he took the shooter out. I'm not hearing any gunshots. Is he down? Yeah. Got down, bro. <sighs> down, bro. First of all, I, I can't tell you how proud I am of that officer. Kevin Lawrence is the executive director of the Texas Municipal Police Association. He says what we see in the video is proof this officer had the proper training and the courage to do what needed to be done. The multitasking is part of the training. You have to be ready to do all of that stuff, and, and you have to be properly trained, properly equipped, and properly motivated you 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 have to understand before you have to have already made up your mind before it happens that you're willing to take on that risk willing to take on that that obligation lawrence agrees with the failed police response in the uvalde shooting still so fresh on the minds of many it's hard not to compare the two in one case dozens of officers who didn't move in and allen one lone officer who did what we see on the video, is that a testament to one man's bravery or to one man's training, or is it both? That officer is an example of somebody who's been properly trained, properly prepared, properly equipped for that situation. And that is not the case universally. <laughs> Yesterday, a grand jury said that officer's use of force was, in fact, justified under Texas law. Now, we should tell you that that police officer has asked to not be identified publicly. And while we know that there are names circling out there, currently, Allen PD is not confirming any of those details. Obviously, they want to honor the officer's wishes. He is credited, as you just saw, for this tragedy not being any worse than what it was. If you'd like to watch that entire video, it's about five minutes long. You can do so on your time on our website, cbstexas.com.